Hey, here's another video for Hero Hunters PvP. Um, I'm going to be running a cover breaking team. So this whole team is pretty much built around Cinder's Platinum Skill here, Salty Earth. Where every time a piece of cover is demolished, she gains an increase in damage uh, as well as health. And it's a maximum of 10 charges. Matador, he also... Um, whenever um, he, whenever a piece of cover is damaged, he will do a shield to one of his allies. Baron, he's all about cover breaker, so he he's sort of built to break cover. Oracle is more for support, just trying to speed up everyone's skills, and then Keel. Her goal, it's every time a hero demolishes cover, she does some healing. So, not the most uh, balanced team, so we'll see how heavily I get penalized here. But the whole goal is to try and get Cinder as much of that salty earth as we can. And so they have, they have quite a few orange or mechanical, so I'm going to be trying to target them first. And so every time a, a piece of cover is broken, Cinder's going to get stronger and stronger. So if you look under Cinder, she already has two. <clears throat> and now we're at, she's at three. And, uh... So now she's at four. We'll see if um, her and Matador can pull this out for me. I don't know if, yeah, <laughs> this other team's Halloway destroyed me here. And so it, it's just one of those things where um, So we'll see if we can get Duran and then pray for a miracle that we can take out their Holloway with Matador. He's not a great damage dealer by any stretch of the imagination. The one thing he does have going for him, he can pretty much, as long as there is damage to break, he can do a shield for himself. <clears throat> so he should be able to stay alive for a while, but as far as doing any damage, he's not the greatest damage dealer. He's definitely a support. So we can at least take out all these holographs. You can see he still has a shield up from uh, when we broke that last damage. So the one weakness of this uh, setup that I'm running here is if you do run into a blue or an energy damage dealer, that's Cinder's weak spot, so she's not going to be able to really do much against them because all of her increase in damage is for the green or the bio chem damage. We're probably just gonna sit here and <coughs> end up in a tie on this one. So we ended in a tie here. We'll see what everyone's damage is like and how... So I, I didn't get penalized that bad for having a pretty uneven team. The other, the other guy's team was pretty uneven as well. And so you can see my Matador, he did a, a fair amount of damage, but he also did a ton of healing. So we'll try and run this again here and see what we can do. And 
again, this will all depend on, uh, this time I'm going to try and switch over to Baron first and take out um, as many. And again, we're facing a Ronin. So another energy DPS. So we'll try and take out a, a good couple of pieces of cover here. So we got Cinder up to five already. So now she's at uh, six. Try and take out their ninja deck here. Uh, and again, this Ronin is destroying me. So a little bit of a risky uh, lineup we have here, but see towards the end there she was Cinder was doing about 40,000 damage per run per hit so two bad matchups we're gonna see you know with a Ronin another energy damage dealer so between him and ninja it was yeah all right so that that's a, an experiment stay tuned for more if you like this or got an idea for a new pvp team let me know below in the comments thank you for subscribing